Hey, how are you? We're on the Li River in Yangshuo, China. This is the most beautiful place I think I've been. Right now, I just want to jam out to some Bertie Higgins. We had it all. Just like Bertie in the car. And go hippo mode here for the next six years. Yangshuo is located in China's southeast Guangxi province and is known for its otherworldly Karst Mountain landscape which is probably why it was used as the backdrop for the planet of Kashyyyk in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Most of China shuts down during the first week of October to celebrate its own version of 4th of July. So I decided to head down to Yangshuo for a few days during the break. Yankees suck. You know what they say about big feet? Micro penises. I mean, I don't know if that's officially a micro. I think he's just uh a grower, not a shower. That's a micro. This is nuts. I legit thought this was a real person. Are you real? You're real. The town can be pretty damn touristy, but the scenery is so incredible, it never really got on my nerves. All right, we're taking out a little bamboo raft on the Yulong River. It's probably gonna be a tourist trap, but hey, beautiful day to, to get out there. Everyone here is cranking hoons. It's a little hoon lounge on the river. Hey, hello. Hello. Your name is what? I'm watching Liang Day. Liang Day? Uh. All right, cool. All right, we're almost free. Boom. The open river. Up ahead, we seem to have some sort of waterfall. It's a little concerning as this camera is not waterproof, but uh, this guy's an expert. We'll see how these people do. All right, that seems pretty tame. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's like a man-made waterfall. See, it's so shallow that when they when they paddle, they just need to push off the bottom. So it's not too tough for him. Yeah, how bang ah. So over there they have a ramp that brings the bamboo rafts up the mini waterfall. You can see that? It's like a conveyor belt. Oh yeah, there's one right there too. And then we go down the waterfall. Ni hen bang. Guys, great. That's what bang means in Chinese. Bang means great. Is that a squat going on at the back of that raft? Yeah, he's he's popping a squat. He's not. He's not pooping, but very impressive. Let's see if he goes back to squat. Yep. Oh, there it goes. I gotta get a close up on that. Oh my God, I gotta take a photo on my phone. You got him. That's actually probably one of the most scenic squat spots I have ever done. How chow ma? How chow? And thus concludes our bamboo raft yeah. river tour. Yeah. yeah! Almost a golden hour, perfect timing. That's a yarn for a golden hour. One of their most famous tourist attractions is Moon Hill, a mountain with a giant natural hole in the middle of it 
that was once visited by Richard Nixon. Uh, Nixon drove by it back whenever he came to China and was like, hey, did you blow like a missile through that mountain? And they're like, no, it's a masterpiece of nature. He didn't believe him. So then they walked him up there and he was like, oh shit, it actually is just mother nature and not a bomb. Gotta love Nixon. Always thinking about bombs. We're gonna go climb to the base of it right now. Ah, yeah. And Shufu. Just hiked up to the Moon Palace. I fainted as soon as I got to the top. Luckily, this Chinese woman came up, gave me a water, which I paid 10 kwai for, and started fanning me down. Oh, Shui, Shishini. And now I'm slowly coming back to life, so thank you. I don't know if this is worth the walk. I think it's just, it's, it's better just to get a cool view from, from down below. This is what the moon hill looks like when you're inside the moon. We're underneath the arch. Still getting fanned over here. Thank you. Okay, I take it back. It actually was worth the hike. This is pretty beautiful. Oh, that's a tree planted by Richard Nixon. You know, a pretty modest looking tree. What a pretty incredible view. How you doing, man? Anyhow. Hi. All right, now time to walk down. One of its lesser known tourist attractions is Slippin' Fun, which we stumbled upon accidentally. Uh, we decided to go for just like a countryside bike ride, but you know, 20 minutes into the trip, we found this place called Slippin' Fun, and it is very slippery, and it is very fun. The Li River, which flows through the city, is the only river I've come across in China that has been clean enough to swim in. So I was looking forward to my first dip. Okay, we got some cows. I'm about to go. Oh, are they are they fighting? Come on, bro. Really? Oh, yep. Oh, come on, dude. I was about to take a swim. I wasn't about to let some literal bullshit ruin my hippo mode sesh, though. Aqua dump. And hey, it's definitely cleaner than the river in Shanghai, which once had 13,000 dead pigs floating down it. After swimming up an appetite, I was ready to sample Yang Shuo's most famous dish, Yang Shuo beer fish. Which I assume is uh, just fish, you know, marinated or fried up with beer. Goes down well with some competitive ping pong, which we got on the TV right here. All right, the Yangshuo beer fish has arrived. Just a fat fish soaked in an ale of some sorts. Let's see how this is. Every time you order fish in China, it's just packed with bones. Not much you can do about that. Um, it's good fish. I'm probably gonna end up like stabbing my own throat with these bones, but. There's some good meat on that, Jay. Am I lying? That's a little shout out to the mass hole sunfish video. One of the best internet videos of all time. Jay, that is still good meat on that fucking fish, kid. Am I lying? Yeah, there are some fat chunks of zero bones, so I can't complain. Has a very sweet sauce. You can't taste the beer, but it's good. Zero idea what type of fish this is. I'll have to do some research on that. This may have been caught by a guy using a bird because historically, comorant fishing has been popular here. It's where a guy goes out in a boat and he's got two comorants. He sends them out to find fish, but when they catch a fish in the river, he pulls a string and it tightens up their throat so they can't swallow it and they have to bring it back to him. Kind of fucked up, but it's part of the culture. At least it was part of the culture. Now I think it's a, a dying art form. Here's the skull, I think. You got any jaw meat? 
If river fish ain't your thing, you can always head to the main pedestrian street for all sorts of weird snacks. So here I have my choice of corn flavored ice cream, egg flavored ice cream, or frozen pea flavored ice cream. Um, Shema shu All right. Let's give this corn pop a taste. It's got like an outside corn flavored shell and then the inside is, I think, vanilla ice cream. I would not get this again. Absolutely not. So this place has roasted durian with cheese and they also have uh, something called smoked ice cream. I've never tried it, but now that vaping is being banned in the US, I think this could be a safe alternative because you get to look cool like you are vaping. Um, but you know, it doesn't have any of the uh, potentially fatal side effects. Uh, yeah. These do not taste like ice cream at all. These taste like cereal. Oh my God. Legitimately intense. Because it was China's National Day, everybody was off from work, and the streets at night were buzzing. All right, we got a girl on the swing in there, and then we just got chicks posing with guns. Should we go in for a drink? Sure. Chinese clubs are very different from those in the U.S. Instead of dancing, the people there prefer to sit at tables looking bored while watching live performances. And apparently five-year-olds are allowed too. The kid's not cool enough for the clubs, preferred to hang out at a bouncy bridge in a nearby park. Okay, here we have a Chinese sunglass company and their brand name is Helen Keller. And their tagline is, who is real? Is this appropriate? I don't think so. I don't think you could, you could pull this off back in the US. You would get canceled real quick. To wrap up the night, I enjoyed some Chinese barbecue. They got all these sticks, like every type of meat or vegetable you can think of. They heat up these long Chinese eggplants, then they open it up, and it's just so soft inside, and they douse it in loads of garlic. Oh yes. And then I'm ashamed to admit it, but these Chinese oysters are so good. Right now I'm in a landlocked city. I feel weird about eating oysters. But you don't eat them raw, you eat them cooked, which probably kills most of the germs. I love them. Another one of my favorite Chinese barbecue dishes are grilled scallops with rice noodles on top. All right, so you go in, you get some of the shellfish, some of the noodles. Then it was time to head back to my hotel and get some rest before my flight the next morning. The only regret I had from the trip was that I didn't go paragliding. Apparently it was pretty cheap, I just didn't find out about it until it was time to leave. But overall, it was a solid trip. So if you make it to China and want to try something beyond climbing the Great Wall or attending a Shanghai Sharks game, Yangshuo is the spot. Signing off, the Wonton Don. <laughs>